Hey there geeks, Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to show you how to disable the right click context menu in your Windows 10 start menu. For example, click start, right click here, right click here. As you can see, you can pin it, settings, rate and review, share. You're going to see different stuff for different apps, resize, uninstall, run as administrator, open file location. We're going to disable that. So when you right click, you'll get nothing. You can do it with the registry files, or you can edit the registry yourself, or use group policy editor. So check the video description, or for the little eye up here, follow the link through to download it, because that's my recommendation. It's simple. Once you download the files, download now. Extract the two files. One says disable. One says enable. So we want to disable it. We're going to double click that. Click yes. I think it's yes, yes, okay. And click your start menu. Right click, nothing. Right click, nothing. Does not work. It should be instant. Let's bring it back. We can do the same thing except the enable registry file. Start, right click, right click. There it is. Let me show you how to do it in the registry now if you like. And you can get to that page again by clicking this link here or here from the download page, and it'll bring you to here. Let's copy this code here, right here. And I'll show you what the registry file does while we're in here. Windows key plus R type in R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Press OK or click, or press enter or click OK. Clear this out, control V to paste that in, hit enter. Now, one of the things you're gonna run into is most people don't have the Explorer key. So here's what the registry does. As you can see, it's a zero, that's your value data. The zero enables it, and by double clicking it, changing the value data to one, that actually disables it. So, did I get that right? I think so. I'm gonna delete the Explorer key because you probably don't have it. The only reason I have it is I use the registry files. So you're gonna to wanna to go to the Windows. You're gonna to wanna to right click and do a new key. And of course, I didn't pay attention in advance. There it is right here. We want to call that key Explorer. That should have been easy enough for me to remember. Now, we're going to want to be with Explorer highlighted. We're going to come over here. And we're going to do a new D word 32 bit value, and we're going to name it this right here. So, right on this side, Explorer is highlighted. Right click, new. D word 32 bit value, no matter which operating system you have. Control V, and there it is, just like you saw it before I deleted the key. So, this is the manual way to do it. As you can see, it's set to zero. We're going to change the value data to one. I don't know if it'll work right away. If I do this or not, it might. It did, as you can see. So, now you can just come back, change that back to zero, press OK and it's back. If you, I'd probably just switch from zero to one, just leave it be. If you didn't have the Explorer keys, that's where it gets a little confusing. To get rid of it, you can delete that D word right here that we created, and it's done. Or, if you didn't have the Explorer key, which you wanna be careful if you did, you can delete the Explorer key, and that will delete, obviously, the Explorer key and the registry entry all at once. The other way we can do it is Group Policy Editor. If you have Windows 10 Home, you'd have to enable it. We have a script here that allows you to enable it. And let's get started. Windows key plus R, gpedit.msc. It's gpedit.msc. Once again, press enter or click OK. I even said it right that time. And as you can see, let me scroll it up here. You're going to have to follow through right here. So we're going to come over here. User configuration. Administrative Templates, Start Menu and Taskbar, go ahead and expand that arrow. Actually, no, just click on Start Menu and Taskbar. And we're going to want to find Disable Context Menus, should be right here, alphabetical, usually, sometimes I'll go like that if I can't find it, that allows me to find it alphabetically by clicking on the name. And there is Disable Context Menus in the Start Menu. Double click that. And as with most group policy editor things, you can click on enabled, click apply, click OK, and it's gone. Same thing, come back. 
you can actually do disabled that'll work but I tend to stick with the Windows default so typically I'm just going to change it back to what it was which is not configured click apply click OK and it's back so whatever way it works for you I like the registry files because as you can see in the amount of time it took for the video a quick double click is the fastest easiest way to do it and get the job done unless you really want to use group policy editor and there you have it that's how you can disable the right click context menu in the Windows 10 start menu bottom right corner you can click subscribe if you're still with us I think that's pretty much everything click like if we helped you out you know the drill thanks for watching as always see ya